Oh, okay. Ooh. because I'm better than all of you. <laughs> and over the last month or two, I've had these five monkeys dance for me, so <laughs> I can. So let's formally introduce them now. Down the end, we have Hannah Nocker. <laughs> James Dignall. <laughs> Michaela Gordon. <laughs> Rachel Cleoris. <laughs> and Sarah Andrews. <laughs> and next to me, most of you know him, some of you tolerate him. <laughs> he is my sister first, my brother second, Darby Teasdale. Yeah. Yeah. Tolerate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's tell these lovely people what we've been up to for the last <coughs> month or so. Okay, well, since the start of April, these five have been coming over to our house, wreaking havoc. It all looks nice now because we've had a while to replace everything. Um, and we've filmed it all, and we're going to show it to you today. And Gemma's going to judge it all, and we're all going to be really harsh, and it's going to be a really fun time. <laughs> Shall we get underway with the first prize? Let's first? go. We've asked everyone to bring in a prize, which at the end, they will all take home each other's prizes, whoever wins the, the whole thing. And the category we've asked them to bring in is the best item to give to someone after a breakup. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to start with? Michaela. Okay, so for some context, I'm decently inexperienced for breakups, but my, um, t my prize was based on what you would give the partner that you've broken up with. Okay. Um, it's called the old book of alpha Insta captions, um, <laughs> and it goes through, you know, how to make sure that everybody knows that you hate women. Um, <laughs> You're a piece of shit, and you like the Joker, lions, or wolves. Um, yeah, it's um pretty much just... So is this for me to give the person that I've broken up with? Well, I would assume yes, or whether they've split up with you, and they're a piece of shit. And I'm letting them know yeah, they're, they're a piece, piece of shit. For yeah. comfort, or just... Just because they are. Just because. <laughs> um, I didn't take a photo of this, but there's a very, like fun little thing at the very last page. Excellent. Yeah, yeah so it's who is the alpha? <laughs> who is me? <laughs> yeah. But honestly, if anything, I feel like this is pumping up the person that I've broken up with. Well, it shouldn't be. It's letting them know that they are the... No, it's letting them know that people are going to think they're a piece of shit. They are the alpha. Yeah. Look, I feel like this is going to make me feel worse and them feel no, better. No, it In the long run, it <laughs> should um, Because if they're posting Instagram quotes like that, you're probably good that you lost them. <laughs> yeah, good try. <laughs> um, oh, 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 Apologies, but I think I would rather be comf like comforted than them okay. in that situation. So, how? <laughs> you want comfort? <laughs> <laughs> I would like comfort. <laughs> well... Let's get a cheer for the Swifties in the house. Um, look, I don't know that the 10 minute version of All Too Well gives comfort, but if you talk, listening to it for 12 times on repeat crying in the shower, then there's your comfort. Purely for the Taylor Swift reference, you go ahead already. <laughs> look, I'll um, make it better. I got sorry. this scarf on Marketplace and the girl who gave it to me that I bought it off, her name was Betty. So... Yeah, excellent. Okay. Extra points there. <laughs> anyone thank you. that is aware. Yes. Good. Um, but is, so am I getting the song or the scarf? Because it's only one. You. Yeah. Am I no, getting, you're the, getting song? the scarf? The scarf. You asked for comfort. That, that's comfort. It looks itchy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's back there. Do you want to try it on? Can, it's back can there. Can I? You try it on. Yeah. Oh. That is really It's nice not fabric. itchy. Hey. Um, I can't say it's comfortable though. I'm not a scarf gal myself. <laughs> Didn't um, say you had to wear it. I might just stroke it. <laughs> 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 you, 
use of the word stroke <laughs> down a point. <laughs> Shall we move on? Please. James, please have something better for me. I'm really not sure that I do. Um, mine is the follow-up gift to the gift that you got before they broke up with you. Um, it's chlamydia med- medication. <laughs> <laughs> please don't take it. Don't, please don't take it. <laughs> Did you already own this or was this... <laughs> was this... Maybe I bought it ready to break up with somebody else. (laughs) Sorry, is this for me, assuming that it's... Or am I giving to the person that has been... I I hope neither, honestly. (laughs) So it's useless. Uh, No, no, it can be very useful when you need it. Um, I mean, there was thought put in, but the wrong thought. (laughs) So, I mean, above, no, below the scarf. (laughs) But, okay, if it's for me... Just don't I don't come, like the implication. Don't come crying to me when you need it. <laughs> well, I've got it. Rachel, come on. I've got this. Um, can we get it out? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the boyfriend pillow. <laughs> After a breakup, what do you miss more, them or like the cuddles at night? I agree, I get the comfort without the conversation and I think a lot of us can agree that that's the worst part of a man. <laughs> so, well done. Thank you. Um, what, how long did it take you? What were the materials? Uh, materials, um, I think the arm is stuffed with some rags. Um, I'm sorry, but do you want rags around your neck or do you want a <laughs> scarf? I want the, the weight of this. <laughs> feels more comforting than the scarf and the know that it's wa- not washed and I don't know who it came from on Marketplace. Um, and that's my dad's shirt, so I would like it back. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I don't know if we like, we have specified that whoever wins gets the prizes. So I can't the winner gets dad's your shirt. dad's shirt. I meant like, I'm gonna win it back. Okay. Yes. <laughs> sorry, do, apologies. Do you need the medication too? Okay. <laughs> Is your dad single? <laughs> Excellent. I, there's no, Next dummy. <laughs> Shall we move on before we yeah. get to your dad? Okay. I do like this one. I'm going to keep it on for a while now. Okay. The final prize task. Sarah, Andrews, what have you bought um, for me? So perfect present, I think, for someone who's just been through a breakup is a one-way ticket to Europe. This is my specific <laughs> one-way ticket to Europe that's happening in eight days. So... <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to catch flights, not feelings, and we're going to go fly to Europe. You're going instead of me. Whoever, um, like, whoever wins whoever gets wins is to going go instead, instead of, of me. you. That is a lot on the line. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a huge amount on the line, so I'm going to win. Is this, is this including the rest of the trip or just... Just a one-way ticket. One-way I'm ticket. I'm a bit greedy here. I've just bought my... Sorry, no. <laughs> I agree. Um, worth more monetary-wise mm. and more than a scarf <laughs> and a homemade book. So in that case... How would you like to score them? Let's go scores. Sarah second. What? <laughs> we don't have to work that. harder. I'm sorry. The we immediate comfort that this is away. providing. <laughs> the immediate comfort that I'm getting right now from this. Rachel first. <laughs> um, Hannah, Taylor Swift puts you in third. <laughs> Not you, Taylor, puts you in third. I'll take it. Um, Michaela, purely because of the effort that went into it, I am I'm going glad to you give you for it. That. And the ink that I know it costs, you can at least be compensated for that. James, I'm sorry, I don't like the implication <laughs> <laughs> that, that it's now my issue, so fifth place. Okay, and with that, that's our prize task. The winner is Rachel. <laughs> And we can see the scoreboard now. If we update it, the scores should look like this. Along with these prizes, our contestants today are also playing for my very prized 2011 Under Nines Participation Trophy for the Lara Soccer Club. So I would debate more meaningful than a ticket to Madrid. <laughs> um, so that is on the line, just to let you know. All right, the first pre-recorded task. I love you. Sorry? Is the name of the task. I wouldn't say that out loud. (laughs) 
Hello, Dubs. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. Take a seat. I can open. Okay. Oh, it's got a cute little. I'm going to break the stick off. I did. Call someone and get them to say, I love you. You may not say, I love you. Spell or text the words. The fastest time wins. Your time starts now. What if no one loves me? <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm doing good. Just just know the facts. I call people a lot. They don't say I love you on the phone. It's, it's going to be... Oh, we'll get to it later. We'll get we to don't it. have time. Yeah. Shall we see... Who can we see first? Well, it's the first pre-recorded task, so we've grouped Rachel and Michaela together for the very first pre-recorded task. Uh, who calls people anymore, guys? Who are you calling first? My mum. Hi. Um, just wanted to say, appreciate you so much. What's going on? Hi, Mum. Um, I need you to quickly tell me something. Yeah. Um, so, what do you, like, feel about me? What? Um, can... Ooh, I can ask them. Um, can, can you say what you always say to me? <laughs> like, when you think of, like, feelings, um, you know, like, how do you feel about me? Look, I love you. Thank you, that's all I needed, Mum. Like, you always just really appreciate me, like, a synonym for appreciate and, like, like. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, love you. Bye. 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 Done. Done. Thank Slay. you. Thank you. Thanks, Michaela. That's okay. So I just yeah. get out of here. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Excellent, Michaela. A lot of confidence in Mum, and it paid off. Honestly. Always. Well, have well you done. met me and my mum? That's. That's true. I would also call your mum first. Um, was that both your first, first phone calls for both of you? Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Times or should we? Yeah, we can go with stats. So um, Rachel took 55 seconds and said slay three times. Uh, <laughs> Michaela didn't say slay at all, but was in front with 40 seconds. <laughs> All right, I will say that uh, the, those first two were some of the quickest tasks that we filmed across the whole day. Uh, the next two you're about to see are the longest tasks that we filmed across the whole day. It's my favourite palindromic contestants, Hannah and Sarah. Sarah. My siblings will not say I love you over the phone. We do not speak like that. Kath's definitely not going to say it. What's your news today? Just, just your favourite, favourite grandchild that you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Dallin. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing? So I just got back. I was around at Linda's place. At Linda's house? How's the babies? Yeah. Huh? How's the baby? Uh, she doesn't have a baby. Linda doesn't have a baby. <laughs> Wrong friend, sorry. And that you, that you feel that I'm... Hmm? I feel obliged. Obliged? Obliged? No, I miss you. Sorry, I've been... I feel like I've been a bad cousin lately. Is it because I told you that you have to prioritise me? I will prioritise you and I love you. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Yeah. Joke. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You know I take everything to heart. Oh, I'll... No, well, I... I'll... When you saw me, you said, oh, I'm going to treasure her forever. I... That's right. What else did you say? 
I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I didn't even get it after that and I said it. Damn it. Two and a half minutes in. <laughs> nah, I can do it. I'm not giving up. Okay. But. Oh. Hi. Hello. I'm just really, really worried and scared about these tasks, and I'm not if I'm not going to be funny or like good at it with Darby and that. I don't know what to do. They're good people. They're not going to make you do something that you don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. I'm just spiraling. Hello. Hello. Do you know what the abbreviation ELE stands for? I like you. No, try again. Thank you. I'll see you at home later. Uh, bye. Bye. Oh, I thought he was going to do it for, say it for sure. Oh, that was really nice. My dad thinks you're really nice. Don't pander me because the audience is going to know what that means. <laughs> Hang on, you, ca you can't now. You're going to have to say what the second thing you said was. I love... <laughs> you cut out again. Say it again. Hello. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, good. How are you, Sydney Bear? Oh, good. What are you doing? I'm just laying on the couch. What are you doing? Excellent. I just want to say I appreciate you. Like, you're such a good friend to me, Ailish, and you're always checking in, and it's been a shitty time, so I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you. Love you, sir. That is so lovely that you've just called... I love you. Thanks. <laughs> love you so much, eh? Love you too, baby girl. Bye. All right, see ya. See ya. Bye. Yes! Oh my god, <sighs> Thanks, Anna. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's grim. <laughs> My God! <laughs> I'm sorry. I know we were trying to be mean, but not dramatic and bring up something that... <laughs> Sarah, we know what the task was. It wasn't just to have a conversation and tell people what we thought. My, like, mind didn't even go to, like, trying to, like, link it to something else or trying to get them to say I love you, like, Illy or anything like that. I was, like, purely just expressing all of my emotions to my friends and my family. You also spent a lot of time to start just listing people that wouldn't say I love you. Than, like, <laughs> that was 40 seconds and I think we were done by then, so. Did we get an I love you or just a love you? We did get a love you. Not was an there I, no I love There was no I. I should also point out everyone was laughing when at four minutes and 29 Jeez. seconds, Sarah did say I love you. <laughs> can we Not have, in the final person, though. I, the one who said can it we read last. the task again, please? What the wording sure of the task Sure can was? read the task. So <laughs> the task is call someone and get them to say I love you. You may not say I love you. Spell or text the words. Fastest time wins. I'd say that I'd put you directly in last place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take anything I can get. <laughs> so all up, Sarah made six calls. <laughs> said, I love you at four minutes and 29 seconds. And then after she knew she was disqualified, finished up at 13 minutes and 17 <laughs> seconds. Oh um, equally as sad an attempt to watch Hannah. <laughs> We have the same grandma <laughs> and wouldn't have been my first point of call for I love you. I panicked. I really panicked. And then called mum instead. Also interesting to go the abbreviation route and think that she would know Illy over just... I like you. I, I like you. I thought that she'd really progress with the emojis and the abbreviations. I had too much faith. Um, yeah, so Grandma's call took 4 minutes and 49 seconds when she didn't get it. Mum's took 57 seconds and all up, Hannah took 7 minutes and 55 seconds. Um, Although there is one person we haven't seen There yet. is, there's one person that we've left on their own. Do you want to see why James is left all by his lonesome? I would like to, please. Alright, here's James's attempt. Fastest time wins. Your time starts now. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How, are you? How do you feel about me, Kirsty? I love you, James. Thank you. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Thanks, okay. James. Fun. Thank you. Can I ask you 
Kirsty is? Was she a paid actor? Or <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Uh, I, I have two friends that whenever we speak to each other on the phone, we always say, I love you. One of them was off drinking in the Clare Valley that weekend, <laughs> so I chose not to call her, but she is here today. Um, yeah, so I just, I, I knew I could probably get that out of Kirsty. Not a fault. I didn't have any time to write notes by the time they had said, I love you. 19 seconds. Who was the second after? Uh, so, yeah, James, uh, five points with 19 seconds. If you want, you can make your deliberations after this, but it would go James, Michaela, Rachel, Hannah, and then Sarah, if you want to give any points, but she did say, I love you. Donuts for Sarah. I'm sorry. She, for Sarah. They didn't say, I love you, and what about she the said, trauma? I love you. Deal with that on your own. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are updating the scores now, but before we do, the winner of that task, James Dibner with five points. Okay, so if we see the scoreboard, the scores should look like this. With Rachel out in front on eight points. Second task time, and this one we call Salmon Fishing in the Lemon. Place this lemon in the hula hoop for 10 seconds. The hula hoop? In the hula hoop. Please read the end of the task. F fastest time wins, your time starts now. In the hula hoop? Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Hannah, you lived here for 19 years. You look very disorientated to a backyard that you've seen many times. <laughs> Look, you, I okay. was out. I was James! Out. <laughs> I think a bit of cheating from James um, giving enough time to look before his time started. It was a that big was pause. I mean, you all know how the tasks work. That once I don't you think read... you're the one that can talk about cheating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you. <laughs> okay, well, first up, it's two people that we couldn't find a single thing in common with. It's Sarah and James. <laughs> And it's that hula hoop. <laughs> oh, the hose is a cup. You got it? I don't know. <laughs> Please don't mess yourself. I just want to jump in the pool, but I don't want to get wet. Oh, it's not going to sink. Oh, it's going to float too. I'm assuming lemons. Yeah, OK. Stop the clock. I'll stop the clock. <laughs> Thanks, James. Great. Do you want me to clean up? No, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Bye. <laughs> 
Sarah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quick skull before we... Quick skull. Went on. Liquid confidence. You then stated, I just want to get in the pool, but then I'll be wet. <laughs> yeah. Famously how pools work. Yeah. I will say Sarah took her shoes off for absolutely no reason. No reason at all. My shoes were off. Just wanted to get the dogs shoes out. Shoes off, went in arm first. Yeah. <laughs> and did end up being wet anyway. Yeah, my hair was like dunked in the yep. pool. But I picked two things to try and get the hula hoop out that float. I'm yeah, a, we're I'm a, a lifeguard. Flotation I work at a pool. and buoyancy <laughs> and how things. Everything floats. You probably shouldn't have mentioned that you're a lifeguard. <laughs> <laughs> James just went straight for a pole that was not easily accessible. I know for a fact that there are not, many, so many long poles. poles. So many poles. I, I had seen it earlier when I was scouting the, the place. <laughs> None of us did. We, we took a tour. We gave everyone a tour beforehand of the whole house to show them where everything was. None of us knew that that pole existed and James got it straight away. <laughs> Resourceful. Absolutely. You also made sure you exclaimed in once it was in. <laughs> so Darby knew very... Just wanted to announce that. Very extremely. Know. Stats or... Stats, sure. Okay, so James was the fastest then. He took one minute and 51 seconds to get the lemon in the hoop. So efficient. And Sarah, not too far behind, she took the first 10 seconds of her time to finish her beer, but after that, <laughs> it was three minutes and two seconds, a great time. I assume this was common knowledge, lemons don't sink. It's not gonna be easy to push it down to the pool. It, obviously, it was easiest to just get the hula hoop out yeah. and then place it in. So no one's, gonna, no one's gonna try just keep it down there. They'd be foolish <laughs> to try and put the lemon yeah. at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Next. Um, do you want to see Michaela, Rachel and Hannah? Yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> Where the hell's the hula hoop? Oh, it's in there. Okay. The hula hoop. In the hula hoop. I thought you said you didn't have a hula hoop. Is that a hula hoop? I don't think that's a hula hoop. <laughs> this? I think that's a, a rubber ring. A, plus, a, a hula hoop. Let that out. Place it in there. Oh, there it is. For 10 seconds. Yes, please. No, not 10 seconds. Oh. Yes, please. Was it in the pool? <laughs> if it is in the pool. Fuck. It was raining. Okay. <laughs> like, I have to put it in the hula hoop. For 10 seconds, please. Or like in on the ground. In the hula hoop. Is this in the hula hoop? <laughs> Is that in the hula hoop? I don't know. Fastest time wins. Yes. Okay. 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 Am I gonna get in trouble for putting a brick in the pool? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I could have. Oh, I could do it to a rock. I'm so smart. I want to like, can I, oh, it doesn't matter if I break it. <laughs> oh, I broke that. <laughs> I think I should. Look, I'm going to do stuff other than tape. I realise this might not be the best one. I don't think I can touch the ground. Does that matter? Is that in the ring? Like it's in the ring. Dual tasking. The tape's going with it. Oh, if this fails. I've stopped the clock. Thank you. Oh, no. D d would we say that's in? Are you satisfied with that? No? You're not? I've stopped the clock. Alright. Cheerio. <laughs> that's my least favourite one I've done so far. Ha! 
Tanner, what grade do we teach? <laughs> Six. What's a hula hoop? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the same shape, but it. it, it no. So was a donut. <laughs> so was the cheesels we had out here earlier, Hannah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rachel, shock horror when you threw it in, followed by the words, "I am so smart." <laughs> <laughs> can I just say? Can I just say? All of them, bright and sunny days. Crystal clear water. Me. Sorry, d- the wording of the task, was there any oh. rain involved? No, there was no rain No involved. rain, so I'm... S- I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> Raining on the pool, pitter-pattering. Couldn't see the hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Environmental, yeah. <laughs> Good try, no. How long did each yep, take in total? Yeah, we can see some stats. Um, so Rachel was the longest there with three minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, Coming in next was Hannah with 3 minutes 14 seconds, but just in front was Michaela with 3 minutes and 9 seconds. Very close. So they all got it in the hoop? They all got it in the hoop. And they all are aware that the time was stopped? Yep, I said to all of them that their time had stopped once the lemon was in the hoop. By the way, do you just want to see this? I just want to play something for you. Are you satisfied? Oh, that'll be up to the taskmaster. Oh shit. You've, wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is nowhere near as long as I thought it was going to be. I'm so short. And wet. I should have just committed. Will that be long enough? Oh, I'm so wet. Oh, my arm. Okay, I'm satisfied. Okay. Thanks, Anna. So we're sticking with my first time, right? (laughs) So I did see Hannah the morning before we started the tasks. And the one thing she did say to me was, Gemma, do you think I should take my ADHD meds this morning? (laughs) I'm going to go with we chose no, (laughs) based on that. Incorrect. (laughs) Maybe a new prescription then. It was in the hoop. Uh, yeah, we'll say uh, Hannah's second attempt moving the lemon had no effect. It was no more in the hoop than it already was. <laughs> um, but her new time would be five minutes and 20 seconds if you want to count that. Don't do it. It was in the hoop to start, so I'm going to give her the original time. Sarah, calm down. What is our official ranking with that? All right, our official rankings will go in last place, Rachel, next place, Hannah, third, Michaela, second, Sarah, but again, first place with one minute and 51 seconds, James Dickman. Uh, Okay, so this next task, uh, we have some impressive simultaneous actions happening for you all, like being Gemma's brother and still vying for her approval. Tennis balls. Okie dokie. Have two things happen at the exact same time. Most impressive dual action wins. You have 30 minutes to prepare, after which your action must be demonstrated. You have only one attempt. Your time starts now. Oh, so much time. Do you have a segue? (laughs) Was segue the first thought or just the thought that won that day? First. First first thought. Do we look like the people that should have a segue? I think so. Okay. Has Michaela seen tennis balls before? (laughs) Little fun fact about me. I love tennis balls, especially the smell of them. Okay. (laughs) Who do you want to see first? Um, 
Let's go with uh, James. All right. Here's James's dual action. Ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. So I've prepared the batter for the cake. What's the little bits in it? Uh, there are cranberries in it. Oh, cranberries. Hmm, <laughs> quite plain. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, James. I'm a bit lost. I was. I was what happened? What was the two things that happened? So I was baking a cake and holding a parade at the same time. <laughs> a, a parade. A, a water parade, like a flotilla parade. A parade. I don't know if I would call it a dual action. There were definitely two things that happened. Um, at the same time. At they, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't remember the part with audience participation. <laughs> two things happened at the same time. Whether they were good. Um, Let's see the quality of the others. Who would you like to see next? Can we go for Rachel next, please? Rachel next, of course. Here is Rachel's dual action. <laughs> okay, ready to go? Ready. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Rachel. Slave. <laughs> Do we have a running sleigh tally so far of the day? Uh, so far, we're up to seven. Seven sleighs, with I imagine more to come. Have you used roller skates before? Never. No, I could tell. Because <laughs> I wouldn't say you used them, you stepped in them. Um, a lot of confidence in the integrity of the string. What were you using to... We were trying to find a sturdier rope, um, but couldn't be found, so I was just like, make do with the string. Um, shouldn't have... But you should have tried the ribbon. It's great for parades. <laughs> <laughs> more impressive. Um, there was more effort put in. I can see the two tasks that did happen at the same time. Um, Hannah's task in that case. Up to Hannah's task. Up to Hannah's task. Okay, here is Hannah's dual action. Are you ready to go, Hannah? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Thanks, are you done? Yeah. Uh oh. Thanks, Anna.
single note taken. <laughs> Once again, can I ask how long did they have to prepare? They had thirty minutes. They had thirty minutes you took. And that was the best the outcome. Time. Look, there was a lot of failed attempts and I'm not proud of them. And that's what we settled on. Um, Can you, what to, was the... Uh, in the 30 minutes that Hannah had to prepare, uh, she came out crying three times because she tried to snort detergent. <laughs> oh my God. Is that why we <laughs> ended up on the toy? I'm sorry. I, was, I was actually trying to blow bubbles like James, but with my nose. James, James just found the bubbles instead of detergent. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of... Sorry, what was, what was the dual action? I don't know if anyone else I'm, is confused. I'm quite what? shocked that you're not impressed and that you didn't get it. And that I don't understand what... Because I've never seen a higher level of unimpressed as when you go to the toilet and you don't find any toilet paper because someone has not replaced the toilet roll while they were on the toilet <laughs> and has to go back and do it after you yell at them. So the action was doing the toilet roll while still on the toilet... Okay, I've lived with Hannah for 19 years and I can say I've never known her to do it. So in terms of... Impressive? <laughs> impressive for this specific person. In the grand scheme of things, bullshit. Never would get a point. Um, who do we have left? We have Sarah and Michaela. Michaela? Okay. Right. <laughs> this is Michaela's dual action. Do I like explain? I think just, we just, just press go. Let go. Right. All right, so two things at once. Countdown. If you want. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. There you go. They happened at the same time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Still running. Do, you know, oh no. Uh, that's enough of that. I don't know what else to do. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Michaela. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, if the task was just have two things happen at the same time, you're probably the closest there. Most impressive two things that's completely up to you what it was running water and a ball going down a, a ramp. ball going that, down a that ramp meets a shark at the end and i held a bloody parade <laughs> <laughs> and i made a ramp <laughs> you made a ramp with the rulers you did a grade five straws. science project that proved nothing and if we're trying to talk about what would be most no, needed, look, i've already told you it's impressive Hannah. <laughs> so let's stop it's getting needy i did pay homage to you and darby though you, I, yeah. I also wrecked um, that photo. <laughs> yeah, you taped a photo of us to a water cooler. Um, Just because did you, it add you were there in spirit. Yeah. Not in your I don't bedroom. think I, not, yeah, it wasn't impressive though. It didn't add anything to. Yeah, oh, I love you. Oh, <laughs> like that's, that's what it was adding that you were there in my memory. Ooh. No, in my memory. Okay. No, in my, okay. Who's the next person? Thank yeah. you. Uh, Thank the you. final person who we've left to last is Sarah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I've got to get this whole beer in. I thought about this part. This is your action, Sarah. Yeah, I know. All right. You good to go, Sarah? I'm good. Are you good? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Feeling good? Feeling great. We're going down. Three, two, one. Here's my beer. <laughs> Do you want some? <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Darby. <laughs> no, no, you've just gone up in rankings <laughs> because Darby was injured in the process the of the task. That task. is our first one. I think where he's been included, asked to be included. 
That was the first, not the last, I will say, by Sarah, but the first <laughs> task where I was included. Was this the first beer or was this pre... This It was filmed the other way around, so I filmed this beer first. Okay. And you spent half an hour coming up with, I'm going to scull a beer and throw uh, Darby. No, that's not true at all. So she called Greg for 18 minutes and accomplished nothing. I was on the phone to Dad. I was like, what am I good at? What's two things I can do at once? Greg was not helpful at all. A lot of confidence um, in two tasks placed in Greg. Yeah, yeah, she did say to Greg, my car's going to the wreckers. Greg replied, bit drastic. And then she went out to the street and tried to lift her car. <laughs> <laughs> would you okay. like to score them? I would like to score them. Okay. Um, look, one for Michaela's water feature ramp. Project, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, I don't want to hear an awe oh from the crowd. You all saw that. <laughs> um, we're going to give, I wouldn't call it a parade. I wouldn't call it a cake, but there were two things. James, two for James. Um, thank you. God. That's some good supporters in the crowd. Yeah, thank you. Um, three to Hannah, because... <laughs> Personally, I'm quite proud of her for what she's accomplished in this short amount of time. However, stylistically, four looked very well for Rachel and multiple elements involved. Darby was harmed in the making of Sarah's and beers were sculled. Five for Sarah. Okay, five points for Sarah. She wins that task. All right. Thank you, we, Darby. If we see the scoreboard, the scores should look like this now. Tied for first place, it's Sarah, James, and Rachel. All right, now it's time for another task, and this task had genuine lasting repercussions on our household. So I want to spell this first. <laughs> Create a smell that has never been smelt before. Best new smell wins. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> Michaela, verdict on the candle? Good, bad? I can't really remember right now. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this means good. Okay. <laughs> Take notes, Jody. Who can we say first? First pairing. All right, we've paired them together again. And if we took out their matching letters, this would be Mick and Rich. <laughs> okay. How much time do I have? Uh, nine minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. Pantry, it's got to be good stuff in here. Maybe the pantry wasn't it. I'm going to grab these. What? Oh, my gosh. Um... Oh, that smells delicious. I don't eat that anymore. Japanese cherry blossom, let's go. And Vegemite. Slay. I feel like I need a bowl to put it all in, or a cup. Do you have like one of those, you know when you like crush stuff up? Beautiful. Can you give me a spoon? Mm hmm Oh, you're actually legend. I didn't know what size you wanted. Size doesn't always matter. I'm so sorry. That actually is kind of good, guys. <laughs> Do you have any open milk inside? Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter if it's lactose free or not. Let's add some mouthwash to the mix and cherry blossom. It's late. I'm sorry, I don't ever wanted these. You just, nah, mouthwash to overpowering. I, I think this is just gonna remain the winner. <laughs> it's only downhill from here. You know what? I'm calling it. <laughs> Still got almost seven minutes left. Seven minutes. Oh, do I get like, oh, I didn't realise like I got, okay, don't, don't worry. Ignore my last comment. Tuna. Where is the tuna? Uh, Wait. In, the, in front of you to the left. The, the, oh, back, back up. Look. Here. <laughs> My tuna doesn't look like this. Don't know. Oh, I'll um, take some of these. Chili sauces. Do a sweet and sour sauce as well. <laughs> Sorry if you guys want them, but they're mine now. Whoa, this is strong. 
Ooh, that <laughs> awful. Oh god. Right. This like smells awesome. It smells good. <laughs> I'm gonna call it there. Time up. Yeah. You don't want to keep going? No. <laughs> okay. That smells rank, but that smells delightful. I'm happy with that. Do you, do you have a name? Sauce Express? I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't think it was terrible. Do you have a name for your smell? <laughs> uh, no. Just smell one. That does smell quite nice. Right? <laughs> it's it's really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm a master chef. <laughs> it's like a soft, sweet chili. I thought it would be worse. Oh! <laughs> It's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I was not expecting you to drink it. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can be horrible, but I didn't specify that he had to drink it at all. That was all him. Um, can I get a list of ingredients that they've used? Sure. Um, who do you want to start with? Uh, tell me what Michaela used, first of all. Sure, Michaela's Sauce Express. Uh, <laughs> sauce there was leftover pilaf, mayonnaise, Coca-Cola, light lactose-free milk, Indomie chili sauces, pepper, and KFC sweet and sour sauce. Oh. Excellent. I like, you specified open milk. Did you think it was because it would be expired or you just didn't want to open a fresh? I just didn't want to open a fresh one. Consider it. <laughs> Rachel, um, this is the winner, <laughs> confidently. Still sticking with it? or sticking yeah. with it. She had two... Uh, she had three options she for us three. to decide from. How did we choose? Um, she did eventually pick one. So the one that she picked had crushed Vegemite and cheese shapes and vanilla and sweet almond foam hand wash, <laughs> which Rachel, Rachel thought was Japanese cherry blossom hand wash because the, the label on the bottle, but mum actually... <laughs> <laughs> mum actually, actually changes them and just switches the bottles. Next up. All right, next, they're related, but not in any way we can explain shortly. It's Hannah and James. <laughs> okay. Um, 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 okay. Oh, gherkins. I should probably put these down. That's being inappropriate. Is this the dirty washing? Uh, yes. Yep. Create a smell that has never been smelled before. Never been smelled before. Never. New smell. New smell. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to use anything in here, but you know. Okay, I'll start with those. Uh, pool water. Thank you. Do you have a name? Eau de Turtlet. <laughs> Do you have a name for your smell? Eau de Ip. O D apostrophe I P. I just need you to imagine, close your eyes and imagine that it's a, it's a warm sunny day. You've slip slopped and slapped, but you're also a turtle. I thought you were about to drink it, but you're not. 
it's waft, waft away. <laughs> there are many scents in there. Mm. It's very, quite layered. Yeah, it does smell like a cocktail. Oh, <laughs> that is absolutely everything you just described. I do want to drink it, but there is vanilla and sweet almond soap in and, it, and chlorine in your underpants. And that wasn't a problem. <laughs> Just the... Thanks, Hannah. It's so, quite nice. You can open your eyes. Oh. Thank you. Well, thanks, James. You're welcome. welcome. Enjoy. Can I? Do you need to keep oh, it? You can. You can have it. Yeah, sure. Matter. James. <laughs> yes, Gemma. All I have were underpants. Necessary? <laughs> uh, have you ever smelt Darby's underpants before? <laughs> no. So by the letter of the task, uh, Darby, have you ever smelt your own um, underpants before? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was supposed to be a smell that had never been smelt before. Never, never been smelt by anyone in general then. Uh, has anyone here smelt <laughs> Darby's underpants before? <laughs> Hands up from Harrison up the back. So, okay. But did they I'll, did they contribute to the smell? Could you smell? I could smell chlorine. I couldn't smell my underpants. Can I ask what was in James's in total? Absolutely, you can. Uh, in James's, there was Mikey's pond petals, not the actual uh, the water. Uh, vanilla and sweet almond foam hand wash, which we had before. Rice wine vinegar. My underwear soaked in pool water. Gherkin relish. Platypus sneaker protector. Conifer tree leaves. Basil and mint. And Hannah? And Hannah was Mikey's pool water, uh, Mikey's pellets, uh, normal pool water, and eight squirts of Latan SPF 30 coconut spray. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. you were both more resourceful than just food, so I appreciate that. Um, who have we got? Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say I'm so sorry, Jodie and Kirk. <laughs> Would you like to see? Let's find out what Sarah did. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I want to boil something. Pots, pots, pots. Dabby pots. All right, I'm just going to do something with curry powder and I don't know what. Oh, it's going to stink. I need like tuna. Come on, Jodie, you've got to have vision in this pantry somewhere. Prawns in something. Salmon. I just feel bad using all Jodie's food. <laughs> Mortine stinks. Bleach. <laughs> I feel like I've just got bad in my head, but it's not necessarily bad. But I'm gonna go with it. Can I cook? Go for it. Maybe I go like a fishy, fruity combo. Yep, all right, I'm getting rid of the curry powder. Tuna. Yuck, I hate tuna. Prawns. <coughs> I'm allergic to this, but that's probably shouldn't do that. That's gross, so gross. What else smells? I'm going for bad, I'm committing to bad, but I want something different. I've got like chemicals in my head and I can't move past it. Um, oh, I can't ruin a nice candle. I don't know! <laughs> um, mm, I don't know, I can't think. Fuck, I've got a minute and a half. All right, got to make it rogue. Got to make it rogue. Got to make it not set the house on fire. Um, all right. Sweet, 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 sweet. Nutmeg. Oh, I'm allergic to that. I can't. <laughs> <coughs> That's fucking gross. I'm good. 30 seconds. <coughs> 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 Here you go. <laughs> Do you have a name, Sarah, for this? This is, it's hot, don't hold the hat. <laughs> Vanilla fishy goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's, it gets vanillary and then it gets fishy. I haven't smelt it before. <laughs> and then the cumin comes out. Oh, there's cumin in it? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, shrimp? Shrimp, there's shrimp in there too. Shrimp and in brin. What does that mean? Not sure. In brine? Okay. 
Delicious. I mean, it's in brine. Can... Thanks, Sarah. You gonna eat it or? Um, I think there's soap in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Dolls. <laughs> You were the only one that went the cooking route. My mind, I was like, I must boil something. After 20, Why? After 22 seconds, she said, I want to boil something. I, want, I did. I wrote, I want to boil something <laughs> on my card. She did want to boil something, no matter what it was. You also put your body on the line. First, I just had allergic, and then I had to change it to times two. <laughs> you put. Because it was like a macadamia soap or an almond something, and I have another allergy. Oh. <laughs> so I was just cooking with it. It's fine. I had an pen. <laughs> I didn't have to use it, it's fine. <laughs> can we have your thoughts? We can on have the my smells? thoughts. Um, okay. So it's based on a new smell, a smell that I had genuinely never smelt before. With that in mind, the first person that would come on top is Hannah, because it genuinely smelled like Mikey was in the pool. Uh, so that's Oda Turtlet, am I correct? Yes. Uh, the next person, because. As you could see, I genuinely never smelt it before, was Sarah. Yeah. With vanilla fishy goodness, it was bad. Um, in third was a cocktail that if you smelt hard enough, you could smell shoe protector. It was James's with O'Dip. Uh, next was Rachel's with smell one, which smelt like an ice vovo for anyone who wants to know. And in last was Michaela's with sauce express, which smelt like sweet chili rice. Yeah. Um, I am gonna give a bonus point to Michaela for the taste because it did still taste good while smelling not great. That's it, winner of the task is Hannah Knocker. Okay, and if we look at the scores, they should come up like this. With Sarah just pulling ahead on 17 points, Sarah Andrews. Okay. Final task, final recorded task of the day. The last thing I did put them through yet. Shall we get into it? Let's give it a watch. And to show that we have range, we have a location change. Hello. 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 It's quite a journey. Oh, God. Oh, no. Without damaging this lemon. Launch it as far as you can. Furthest distance marked from where it lands wins. You have 10 minutes to prepare your lemon, after which you'll have one attempt to launch. Your time starts. Can the lemon be damaged on impact? <laughs> we didn't make them walk from home. No, no, they, they just walked through? from the car okay. to the rotunda. Just judging by both Michaela and Hannah's reaction, they came from the Yu Yangs. This <laughs> <laughs> was awful. Can we see how they did, please? We sure can. So, if ADHD is a spectrum, would you like to see either end of it? I would. <laughs> okay, here is Hannah and Michaela. <laughs> anywhere I could throw it from anywhere. Okay. Throw it from anywhere. You can throw it anywhere. Okay. I genuinely like don't know what to do. Jesus, how do you get these things out? Is this a chest? Uh, take the black lid off. Oh. Ah, uh, we started well. Got like a nice soft coating. And wrap it in something else. Ah! I hate the wind. How are you going to launch it? What? How are you going to launch it? I don't know. I haven't decided that bit yet. It's got to be a better way. I don't know what I think this is going to do. That's not. Okay, it's gonna be a bit away. I'm just worried that like I'm gonna launch this, it's just not gonna come out. Oh no, it will. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna do it now. Okay. Shit. 
can take the black litter. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that old thing. Maybe I should also. No, but now it's not going to go in. Okay, well, there's no trials now. We're not trialing it. We're just. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. All right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> That's five feet. I hate this. Are you happy with that? No. What would I be? Thanks, Anna. Thanks. Oh, I did feel I was quite like I liked it at the start where you actually caressed the lemon. It was a really nice, gentle. Did I treatment of it and I don't know that carried through to not wanting to throw it as far maybe or just <laughs> I I genuinely did develop feelings for the, the lemon, lemon throughout the <laughs> yeah task. I could tell it seemed there was also like a fear of the colander at the start the colander <laughs> I don't know what that you was were saying, <laughs> didn't want to go near it um oh. Anna, you seem more caught up on where can I launch it from <laughs> rather than how am I going to and how far is it going to go I was looking for a bigger distance like mm. I'm not quite no. And so I also... thought if I was on the barbecue, we could then measure even further. Oh, did we? We really didn't. Um, okay. <laughs> so Hannah managed to launch her lemon 13.3 metres. Oh. Commendable effort. Also, commendable effort. you didn't have to use every item given, but you were determined to. <laughs> that is a rare look inside I... my brain. <laughs> Um, and Michaela's was not much shorter um, if our scale was a lot bigger. Um, <laughs> she threw hers one metre and 52. <laughs> what was the length of the device she used to throw it? The length uh, was just under a metre. Okay. <laughs> you, you don't hurt who you love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> Can we have someone else play sure before can. I get upset at that? <laughs> okay, the next pairing. One says slay and the other one's moving away. It's Rachel and Sarah. I can like test run. Yeah. Before the launch, obviously. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> that. So how am I gonna balance it on that? I feel like I have a pretty good arm. But we'll, we'll try it. We have 10 minutes. Nine minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Okay. Smarty tab. This is too easy and too lame. <laughs> but there's no way to test. I can't test the lemon in that, can I? You it's can. Gonna, it's gonna break though. Oh, you can't. How damaged can the lemon be? All the information's on the task. <laughs> I feel like I could piff this lemon and it wouldn't be damaged. I feel like it's a pretty sturdy lemon. I'll just do a thousand of these for six minutes. I'll just risk it. I don't think it'll break. Just a little. That's so sturdy. I feel like I'm doing that egg thing in science. Did you guys not do that because I'm allergic to eggs? If that was the reason you didn't do an egg, thank you. Interesting. <laughs> Can you throw it to me? Sure. We're throwing. Can I piff something at you when you catch it? We've done worse today. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna hurt you now, aren't I? What's the time? Well, where's the wind going? Can I throw it anyway? Yes. <laughs> I've never been able to tell. I'm just going to keep going this way. Yeah, so. <laughs> I missed. Oh, too far. One minute and 15 seconds remaining, Sarah. Keep running. Oh, I should try to kick it. 
Oh my God. How long have I got? 32 seconds. No. Nah. Sorry, nature. Oh my God, the lemon came out. <laughs> fuck, fuck. 15 seconds. Fuck. Oh, way too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a crack. I really hope I hit you. <laughs> just body block. Like, if you can catch it, catch it. Okay. Softly, though. <laughs> That's not my shot. <laughs> I was just practice. Okay. Three, two, one. Crushed it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Some of this ain't even me. Is that their forehead? <laughs> yes. Is it intact? It's intact. Good catch. Well, thanks, Rachel. All good. Ooh. <laughs> You're pretty confident in your arm abilities from the start. I think you said, I think I have a good arm and I can throw this. Then tried the kick, but decided it was like what, we had like ten seconds left. Or yeah, fifteen seconds. And fifteen, and I tried to do the kick, and yeah, it came out in that little bit, and I was just like, AFLW, not <laughs> <laughs> different. You did use Derby to throw it at the start. In terms, did you not attempt to, to hit throw it? Yeah, to, to, to the cricket bat. To the cricket bat. Oh yes, yeah. Opposite way to what Sarah used, Darby. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> use your body as a block. <laughs> I had, um, uh, I feel like if I just launch it, it'll be fine. But can I piff something at you? I'm going to hurt you, aren't I? Really hope I hit you. Just body block. <laughs> You're sold enough to block it. Really hope that was going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Although it started, I was impressed at the start when you had a little lever sort of thing yeah. going with the... It just was not going to work no. like with like somewhere to attach it for like a lever. Mm -hmm. So... I think I was really like fixed on the lemon being damaged, but, and it was, I think, over here. <laughs> but, um, don't I think talk this practice shot. We'll get to that one. We'll get to that one. You can practice as much as you want. You know how many times did you practice? Uh, I believe time the time minutes. started. The time had started for you to have one attempt to throw. So can we have the distances that each went? We sure can. So Rachel's went 20.62 metres. Um, and let's, do you want to talk about what happened at the end? Did, was, what was the... Ex did we think... Judging by Rachel's face, she know what she did. I, but I know nothing. <laughs> it wasn't bruised before she threw it. But it was bruised afterwards? Do there we was have a small a, bruise. And the task requires it to be... Undamaged. An undamaged lemon. <laughs> <laughs> And I believe the other requirement was you only have one attempt. You do only have one attempt after the time, the prep time was up. I don't know, he would have a practice shot. <laughs> so if I How far did I get it? Uh, if we're counting your actual attempt, the one that you want to count, it's 27 metres. Yep. <laughs> and in terms of the first attempt? In terms of the first, we didn't mark it, but it would be longer than Michaela's, shorter than Rachel's. So her, what her attempt actually was in terms of that was her first I'm including that as that was her first throw. The first throw where it fell out of the thing. It's completely up to you if you want to count as that. As in what then it launch it just dropped out. And that is your fault. <laughs> did, did her lemon not get hurt at all? Completely no, undamaged. Completely she threw it 27 damaged. metres and it was never damaged. What's the point of protection? <laughs> yep. <laughs> they um, trade. Would you, like to take, would you like to take the chlamydia <laughs> medication now? <laughs> you hold on to that one. <laughs> There is still, though, again, someone we haven't... There is, again, one more person that we didn't, we couldn't group. Um, would you like to see how James prepared his lemon? Um, yes. Can use any of the surrounding countryside. Yep. <laughs> Launch it as far as you can. So it has to be airborne. All the information's on the task. Do you have any plan here, James? No, no plan at all. <laughs> no plan. <laughs>
Does it have to? Be, does the measurement have to take place today? No, we can measure it over time. You just have one attempt to to do whatever you want after thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Jeez. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time's up. <laughs> Was there no launch? Well, we just saw his prep, but... By the looks had, of you, you're pretty very, confident. It was very thorough prep. Confident then, in the lemon's integrity that you didn't cover it at all. Uh, no, there, I, I needed there to be a reveal of, of the... Oh, um, cool. um, I will say for James's prep time of 10 minutes, after five minutes, and 20, uh, five minutes and 27 seconds, he hadn't touched a single thing. <laughs> Again, more concerned about where he was going to launch it from, like Hannah, than yep. the I'm, actual launch I'm of it. I'm quite comfortable with the, um, the location of the launch. <laughs> the... Okay. Can, can we, we can we see James's? Are we all ready to see James's launch? Yes. <laughs> okay. Here's the final pre-recorded task. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It's not often that uh, people are privileged enough, uh, guests such as you are privileged enough to attend a major international product launch, um, and a product launch that might be seen as controversial. Uh, but could also change the way your taste buds operate. We, ha we hear that some products are launched and they come out and they're, they're a lemon, literally a lemon, a lemon. Today is something that's going to be quite different and yet exactly the same. So I would like to present to you my product uh, on the day of its international launch and I give you the lemon. I would like to commit today to launching this product here and now and guaranteeing international sales. We are live right now and I can guarantee that the distance of the, uh, the landing of this product and the sale of this product launch will be will far um, exceed any other competitors. Stay tuned to this channel for updates soon. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, can we have the definition of launch, please? Sure, can. So we uh, recorded a few versions of launch because there are, are a few out there. So it is um, hurl something forcefully, make a sudden energetic movement, start or set in motion, and now introduce a new product or publication to the public for the first time, an occasion at which a new product or publication is introduced to the public. Ooh. Keyword new products there? Yeah. Uh, this is a one off lemon. There's no lemon like it. <laughs> <laughs> then how can there be like 500 sold? Cheap copies from China. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna accept the definition of lemon, of launch, sorry, <laughs> and, and the fact that it was the only lemon, but the task did require him the furthest distance. Yeah, launched. would you like to see where the lemon ended up? How far was it launched? This is how far James's lemon was launched. <laughs> this is genuinely the same lemon. No. <laughs> James technically launched his lemon 981 kilometers. Oh, to critique it but five points for James. Five points for James. That was so impressive. So impressive. As for the rest of the scores I'm gonna go based off distance. Okay. Including Sarah's first throw when it left. Okay well if that's your ranking then next it would be Rachel and then Hannah and then Sarah and Michaela. What about the lemon not the dam being damaged? The damage. Rachel's lemon was also damaged. damaged. I had the knocks. Like what the <laughs> You do the same thing for your game. I do. I do. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Correct. No one else was damaged at all. No other lemon was damaged. I, it wasn't the same lemon for all of us. No, they were, you all had new lemons. Or, Why yeah, would it be the same question. for all but of us? <laughs> <laughs> James has went to Sydney and you, you... This was filmed over a couple of weeks. Rachel's disqualified. Her lemon was damaged. 
So therefore, she's zero points for okay, Rachel. Okay, zero points for Rachel. Um, in that case, it would go James, Hannah, Rachel, and then Michaela. Do you mean what about Sarah? me? Oh, sorry. You're right. Sarah's, right. Is, Sarah's is her first uh, attempt. Yeah, let me try that again. Um, no, that was no. your first attempt. <laughs> 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 So, it would be James, Hannah, Sarah, Michaela. Much better. Sounds there we go. better. Congratulations, James. Five points. Thank you. <laughs> so good. All right, we ready to see what they're going to look like? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> James is ahead on 21 points. However, while well, that is our final pre recorded task, we are now up to the live task part of the show. So as we've concluded them, our contestants are now going to perform a live task in front of you at the front of the stage. We'd yeah. like to start? We would like to start the live task. All right, task. could everyone make their way to the front, standing at the front of the stage? Who would you like to read the task out? Um, James, would you like to read the task for us? Who I'm ready? I don't really care if you are. I'm ready. <laughs> Blow up and tie up this balloon. You have 60 seconds after which your balloon must be tied up. Blow and tie up this balloon. You have 60 seconds after which your balloon must be tied up. Any grammar experts in the house? Do we have to tie the balloon after the 60 seconds? Your, your balloon must be tied by the time the 60 seconds is up. Great. Would you like to hand Darby? May you get Hannah, please, to read read out the second one. <laughs> read it out! Read it out! <laughs> Without popping your balloon, hide it somewhere on your person. You have sixty seconds. To hide your balloon. <laughs> Her balloon is going down. After, <laughs> after which the taskmaster will guess where you've hidden it. Successful hides will be awarded five points and unsuccessful <laughs> will receive zero. I'm sorry. Has that popped already? Yeah. You gave me a dodgy balloon. Uh-huh. Let's start with Sarah. It's going to be chilly. Can I get a jacket? <laughs> 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 Seconds, time's up. Cute jacket. Hey, that was really cool. Okay. Sarah, is your balloon under your left arm? <laughs> five points for Sarah. Sarah. Five points. <laughs> All right, who would you like to see next? Um, Michaela. Michaela, make, make your way to the front. <laughs> your time starts now.
Um. You know I always haven't had big tits. <laughs> Michaela, a headache? No, just just big brain. Just big, big brain. <laughs> big brain that I'm gonna take a guess. Something's leaning me towards that way that it's under your beanie. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> zero, points zero points to Michaela. Thank you, Michaela. <laughs> All right, who would we like to see next? Shall we see Hannah Stressful. next? <laughs> Hannah, please make your way up. Oh, oh. All right. Hannah, your time starts now. reactions just from the crowd she ate it and then shit it out <laughs> <laughs> Hannah <laughs> you're not you're misdirecting me by your mouth In your underwear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Five points to Hannah. Who would you like to see next? Rachel. Can we please see Rachel? All right, Rachel, make your way to the front. Yeah. Your time starts now. Behind your right arm, next to your leg. No. <laughs> <laughs> Five points to Rachel. Shall we see our last contestant? Last contestant of the day. James, please make James. your way to the front. All right, James, your time starts now. I had a pop. <laughs> I, I don't, the, 
the sound isn't the only requirement no, of uh, no. pop. Um, so I'll guess, and then I guess we'll get into whether you did pop or not the balloon. Is the balloon in your shoe? <gasps> It doesn't matter whether you popped it or not. You've got no zero points for James. Points for James. <laughs> so if we have a look at our scores. Okay, so these are the scores before they've been updated from what we've just seen. <laughs> so here's what they look like before the live task. Are we ready to see who wins the first episode of Taskmaster in Brim? The winner of Taskmaster <laughs> episode one is... Andrews on 25 points! I'm always shocked. I <laughs> How the hell did I win that? <laughs> so lucky for you that you did, honestly. I wasn't confident. Um, just to reiterate what Darby said, thank you so much again. Thank you for our contest contestants for doing what they thank did. Thank you to all of our contestants for being part of episode one. It was... Very short notice what we put them through, even to get here today um, to organise this day. It was a lot, so thank you. Um, Darby and Harrison did so much of this and you saw what they did. Like, pretty incredible to put it together. I'm very proud of them. Um, Can we give a big round of applause to our Taskmaster, Gemma Tiso. <laughs> Yes, well done, Sarah. Take home your prizes. Yay. Enjoy. I don't know if that'll fit in Carry On, but <laughs> <laughs> enjoy. Um, but thank you all for coming. Feel free to hang around for a little bit, but we will kick you That's out. That's it. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank, thank you all for coming. <laughs>